We're here at the Royal Southampton Yacht Club to announce the selection to Paralympics GB of the Sonar and the Scud teams, two of the three sailing events for the Paralympic Games this summer in Rio. I think having uh, the same team going as we have in the past um, and those sailors understanding what's involved and how it feels both to win and to lose and how supporting each other can really make a difference, particularly when things aren't going well, uh, is going to stand those sailors in good stead. Uh, today is massively important um, as part of the journey that we've been on for the last 11 years now. Um, um, yeah, without selection, actually, we wouldn't be we wouldn't be following our dream and in, in attempt to win a gold medal. So it's very important. Since I was a, a child, 11, 10 years old, up in Sunderland, learning to sail, I wanted to be in the front. I wanted to be winning. I don't know where that's come from. Maybe my parents or what have you. And just actually competing is just you know I'm super passionate about getting the best out of the boat and the team, and you know smashing those victories out and winning championships and winning silver gold or going around Europe and you know doing the best we can just to make sure that when we get to Rio we're actually the best we can be. Yeah winning well I mean it's just a huge confidence boost for us you know a couple of fourth places here and there it, it makes you wonder and actually just winning the Worlds has really proved that we can do it and we are capable of it and yeah it's nice to go towards Rio knowing that it's doable. The games are very special and it's a very different situation, you know, it's a compressed fleet, not, not that we have the largest fleets anyway. And um, so, you know, and everybody's on top of their game and it's, you know, and it's a much more stressful environment. So it's really exciting, but I think this time it's a very different feel because obviously you've come off of a home games and London was so massive and it was such a, a big showcase for the Paralympics. So it'll be really interesting to see what Rio brings. But I think, you know, at the end of the day, the Brazilians are known for their parties. So they're going to try and make it as fun and as big and as exciting as, as possible. I think um, each selection is the same in fact that it's a big moment and it's something to be uh, proud of because we've worked really hard to get to this point and uh, we just we should never take it for granted. A lot of people would love the opportunities that we've got. and. Uh, it's the same and the selection feels great, but I'm hoping the outcome's different this time. There's still quite a lot of time to go, but actually that time's going to go really quickly. So I think it's just about knuckling down now and actually ticking off the really important things. Ultimately, it's going to be about who delivers the best on the day. And if they sail their best game and focus on the right things at the right time during that week of the Paralympics, then I've no doubt that they're capable of winning the gold medal. We already have the t-shirt from the first event, a bronze medal from the second one, and we uh, really desperately want a gold one this time. 